Welcome back, everybody. It's another exciting edition right here of Overtime Series with Athletic Director Roman Banks. A closer look at Jaguar Athletics as we, uh, of course, get ready for a big uh, week of, uh, of great sports. And Coach, first of all, how are you doing, my man? Doing well. Made it back from Dallas safe and sound. Yes, indeed. That was an uh, interesting trip. Uh, <laughs> a beautiful uh, area, too. Dallas is just absolutely gorgeous and made it out just in time. That tornado hit Sunday night. When we left Sunday morning, that tornado hit Sunday night, North Dallas. Yeah, you're right. And uh, I know we have a lot of, uh, I talked with Laquita just to make sure that we check on our alums in mm -hmm. Dallas and everything. And so just to give them our prayers and let them know that we was with them. So no uh, we're glad from the most part that we haven't had any individuals directly involved with us to be impacted, but we are praying for that city. No question about that. Uh, the game over at uh, Dallas, Texas at the Cotton Bowl, played against Texas Southern. That's why they say, you coaches say that, the game is not played on paper. And even coach uh, uh, sometimes uh, would say that, uh, you know, stats are for losers. Talking about Coach Pete Richardson would yeah, say that yeah, every now yeah, and then. Yeah. So I, I, I'm a firm believer. I always tell, you know, as a coach, and I, in our coaches' meetings, I always talk about that. You know, we prepare for, for teams that's not so good yeah. like, they, like they were a champ. Yes. Uh, because they have nothing to lose at the end of the day. And, uh, you know, Coach Odom is a wise coach, and he's been around for a while. And you realize uh, Texas Southern, uh, though they've been struggling this year, but they've been competitive yes. to the most part all the way down to the end of the wire. Yep. And so uh, we've seen sometimes student athletes and young people can get caught up in records and not really pay attention to the intangible things. And so we found ourselves, you know, into a dog fight. And uh, I thought that they showed character by pulling out a game. And it, and it says something for your team when, yep. you can, when you can win and not play well. That's and right. I thought that's what we've done. Obviously also two other things going on. The other football going on, soccer, <laughs> uh, was uh, very uh, competitive, of course, uh, against UAPB and Grambling State. Yeah, no question about it. And, uh, you know, we've been able to go out there and, and, and um, you know, play 50-50 ball a little bit. And, uh, you know, I, I think our program, uh, soccer-wise, I've been telling you that I feel like that it's coming now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, And uh, Coach Fundo is doing a good job with that program. And, uh, you know, the student athletes there, I think, in my opinion, keep getting better and better talent. And, um, and I just, I'm very hopeful for that, that sport in the future. No question about that. And then also, of course, too, men's and women's cross country competing in the SWAC tournament uh, this past Monday. Yeah, and uh, you can see that we're growing pretty fast in mm -hmm. that area. Coach White is doing a good job with, with his student athletes, and we have some, some individuals that are doing uh, beyond good in that area as it relates to individual scoring. And so uh, we feel like that we have a blueprint to build off of, and, uh, and we're going to challenge ourselves to continue to get better in that area because I do think that our track and field program, and I, I say to public and say it again, have made a 360 degree turn. Yeah. And I think that we're headed in the right direction by bringing, by bringing events and, and relays um, to all stadium in the future as well. And then volleyball is going to be, they've done the uh, Western Roundup, now they're going to be doing the Eastern Roundup too. Yeah, and, um, and so, you know, I think that's, we're on a run in that sport, and I think it's going to go right down to the wire, uh, you know, when it get down to conference tournament playtime for us. And, uh, you know, I, I'm very hopeful what this team can do. I think that they can, that they can make a championship run, and, uh, and, I, and uh, I'm hoping that uh, we can continue to play like we've been playing and, and we can continue to get better. I think teams that get better late in the season are those teams that, that are destined to win championships. No question about that. And then... Uh, I was at the meeting on uh, Tuesday uh, with uh, in your office, having a meeting on Tuesday. I had to leave a little early because uh, Coach Sean Woods wanted me to come see the basketball. And I'll tell you what, Coach, they're not going to be in eighth place this year, tied for seventh <laughs> this year. Well, that's, I really enjoyed that practice. Well, that's certainly not the expectation for us. Uh, you know, uh, they practice. They practice is pretty tough practice. Yes, they do. And, uh, you know, you can just tell about, uh, I think he – you got to have uh, 11 new scholarship players and 13 new players total. I think that you could tell about a talent upgrade, length and size, uh, that they have a chance to be much better. I think they picked a six, uh, yeah. but I, I, I really think that we have the ability to finish in the top four. Right. And I think anytime you finish in that top four in basketball, you know, you have a chance to be a champion. Yeah, and obviously host the first round 
uh, which was the quarterfinal round, which would be held in your arena. Which is uh, very arena. important. That's right. Yeah, you know, yeah. the top four get there, which no is No question important. about that. And, and I was watching young Peter Cipriano. You brought him in as a coach, and obviously he was a player here for years at uh, Southern. I was doing play-by-play -play when he was a player, and it was just so fun to watch him uh, post up. He was doing the post up with the cushions and pushing the guys around, yeah. trying to get them in the paint and score. You know, it's very, it's very rewarding to see uh, brought PD in uh, after he finished playing professionally overseas, and it's very uh, rewarding to see how he has grown into to the type of coach that he is now. Uh, you know, when I was a system basketball coach here, I brought PD in, I recruited mm -hmm. him, and uh, Tommy Green and I brought him in, and I tell the joke all the time is that. I picked him up from the airport. I think we brought him in during spring fest time. <laughs> and uh, we drive up on campus and we going in and I had another recruit with us. The other recruit, we got in and I say, uh, you know, guys, we're going to go in here for a minute and meet the guys and then they're going to come get you off from the hotel. And so we got in there and uh, the other young man, I say, we're in, we in the building, they meeting everybody. The other young man say, well, I say, well, y'all ready to go? Let's go check in the hotel. And then these guys come get you. He said, coach. I'm good. Just drop my stuff off, <laughs> and, I, and I haven't seen him yet. He's still here. So, oh my so goodness. that just show you when you come as a as a recruit here to Southern, and, yeah. and you go to all our events and Greek shows and stuff like that. It's a fun atmosphere. No Coming from New Jersey, he never seen nothing like that before. No, and so no. I, he haven't left Baton Rouge since that day. And that's pretty awesome. <laughs> that is pretty awesome. He's a great young guy. Uh, you know, he when I when I was at the practice, he walked in the door. He said, "The voice of Southern University." <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, he says, "Great young guy." And Sean has a great staff, and yes. like uh, like all of our coaches, there, I'm happy that we everyone that's involved with our programs, mm -hmm. I think highly of them, and I think that the coaches that are the head coaches have a similar staff that that can help them articulate what they want done right. to win championships. No question about that. And speaking of that, it's time to get your season tickets for men and women's basketball. We've got a the flyer right here, the poster, this official poster for Southern University uh, that we're going to show on TV right now. Here it is, United We Reign. It's both the men and the women's uh, basketball uh, games that will be going on. Of course, includes uh, pre-conference games, which will be coming up starting in November. First game is on uh, this Friday against Wiley College. It's yes, a, it's a, for, the, uh, for the men. For the men, that's right. And then uh, the first uh, official game will be on uh, Wednesday. We'll be doing this show on that night. But, right. Uh, a big, uh, I love that uh, schedule. It's a pretty nice schedule. Yeah, pretty nice schedule. You know, uh, uh, also, uh, Coach Funches and his group, they also preseason pick first. And so, once again, they're right there in the yep. mix. And so, so uh, you know, and I think that he has a chance to live up to that picking as well. And so, I'm excited about that. I think that I urge everyone uh, to go get season tickets because we're, you know, we're expecting exciting, exciting things in the mini dome under these yep. two leaderships of coaches and their team. And so, uh, I'm looking forward to right after this transition of football going right into that mini dome with a yep. lot of energy no because question. I think we have two teams that can possibly win championships. I do too. I agree with you 100%. We're at Scoreboards Restaurant right now where they've got some great food and, and you were telling me that the uh, the boiled crab is unbelievable here. I've got to try that. I'm, I'm going to order that today I think. Yeah, I, I think the blend, what they, they mix of the, the, the spices make the crabs a better choice than the shrimp. The shrimp oh, can cool. get a little bit more spicier, but yeah. I think because of the harder shell, and now I'm talking like I'm a chef, but, <laughs> 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 but I do my own little ball, so that's my expectation. I think because the shell is so tough that it's yeah. the right fix for that crab. Do you like my, my grandmother from Ville Platte, Louisiana says is uh, that, that uh, it's so spicy, you better get the toilet paper out of the ice box. It's hot, yet. yeah. Uh, yeah, I tell you all the time, you better run to that bowl there and get yeah. your cold beer. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, congratulations to Bubba McDaniel. We call him Bubba McDaniel. Glendon McDaniel was named the Offensive Player of the Week. Yeah, he came congratulations. in as quarterback and, uh, and uh, saved that game. Uh, he had um, three touchdowns passing in that football game. That was all season highs for him. Yeah, so so once again, I think, you know, just like the next level, you're talking about having replacement that can take you to another level. I think he brings in a different dimension when he comes in the game and make it pretty tough. I, I, I expect to see both of them to play at all corners. No question about that. All right, when we come back, you was taking a swat at me. Did you see that on TV? <laughs> no, it was, a, it was a pesky bug standing right here by us. I tried right to do it on the slide, you know? <laughs> All right, when we come back, oh, man, I had so much fun when I went to the volleyball game a couple of weeks ago. We're going to be talking to some volleyball stars coming up right here next as we continue with overtime with Athletic Director Roman Banks, a closer look at Jaguar Athletics, right here for Pelican Sports TV. I know.
foundation of hardworking Americans, and businesses will always be the lifeline of this great country. As a business owner, you understand the importance of your reputation. In times of uncertainty, you need a real lawyer who's serious about protecting you and your business. You need a problem solver. You need the law firm of Clayton & Fouget. Tony Clayton is a proven trial lawyer. He'll defend you and your business to the fullest extent of the law. Protect your investment and call the law firm of Clayton & Fouget today. It's game day. A day that should be spent in the living room, not the kitchen. So next game, you just worry about the score because we've got the food covered. With hand battered, cooked to order, always fresh, never ever frozen chicken fingers, craveable cane sauce, crispy crinkle cut fries, and jugs of freshly made tea and lemonade. Raisin Cane's chicken fingers, one love. Official chicken of Southern University. <laughs> Ram pickups, we'd rather sell them than move them. It's Salisbury's Ram Power Days. All 19 Ram Bighorn pickup trucks, 11,000 off. That's right, all 19 Bighorns in stock, 11,000 dollars off. Get them now at Salisbury's Chrysler. Dodge Jeep. and Ram in Baton Rouge. When you play the Louisiana Lottery, you may not see where your dollar goes. Mm. To the potential it nurtures. To the future it fuels. But with every dollar you spend, you're supporting K-12 public education. Even if you don't see the change you're making, our students do. Thank you for giving us a reason to smile. All right, welcome back, everybody, right here. It's Overtime Series with Athletic Director Roman Banks, a closer look at Jaguar Athletics. And uh, we're here talking uh, at Scoreboards Restaurant. And uh, just come on by and see us on Corsi Boulevard. We're here every Wednesday night. Uh, Corsi, it's right there. On, on Corsi Boulevard, it's right smack in the middle, Airline Highway and Sherwood Forest Boulevard. If you're coming from Airline Highway, you'll make a U-turn, kind of come to the left. Uh, you don't actually have to make a U-turn. You just turn right just past Scoreboards. And if you're coming from Sherwood, Take a right into the parking lot, and you'll see us right here. Volleyball. we got some seniors right here on us. Uh, Shelby uh, Jolly, is that right? Yes, sir. That's right. And then also Brianna Hawkins. Yes. I, I, and pick that microphone just a little bit higher <laughs> so we can hear your lovely voice. I had such a fun time. I went for the Prairie View game. It was so competitive. It was a lot of fun watching you players play that game. Yeah. I mean, exciting. Yeah. Um, I really enjoyed playing that game. Uh, even though we didn't come out with the outcome we wanted, mm -hmm. it was just like being able to compete and play the sport you love every day, like working hard and then seeing that transfer into the games. It's like it's just really exciting for us. Yeah, and uh, y'all did such a great job. And of course, sweeping Grambling. Yes, that was very that exciting. Was, uh, we need a round of applause for sweeping, <laughs> for sweeping Grambling. Anytime you, if we shooting, uh, you know, uh, throwing spitballs or something beat grambling that's, we got to do that right yeah that was a really fun game the crowd really came out and supported us and all the energy really transferred onto the court i can see her being a uh, see an announcer right there she's already <laughs> got that going a sideline announcer or something yeah. like that that's pretty good so uh then you now of course you're on to the east uh, volleyball roundup mississippi valley state Alcorn, alabama state alabama a m and jackson state ought to be a fun one mm -hmm. that is coming up uh, this friday yes sir we leave tomorrow morning and we're just really excited to finally get to uh, play those teams again. We haven't played them in a few weeks, so we've been studying up on them and practicing really hard, so we're just ready to compete and just give it a second shot at, you know, coming out victorious. Uh, you know, I, there's not one time I was there on the side looking at my phone, because I'd be the one that's seeing on national TV, look at this dummy, <laughs> wa looking at his phone, the ball's just spiked in my face. I mean, there's <laughs> balls flying everywhere in that yeah. thing. We do a lot of conditioning to help us chase down balls and be really conditioned to and the outlast the routes. And the communication's got to be unbelievable. Yeah, I mean, right. what do y'all do to, to where it's like, okay, it's a third hit, so it's, it's be like over? What do y'all say? Um, it's just constant communication during play. Yeah. So that we're all on the same page. If we're not, then mm -hmm. obviously it's going to be a miss hit or in the net or something wrong. Yeah, and in practice, coach really emphasizes, like, um, just making sure we're always communicating, always being – overly loud sometimes because when the crowd is really hype or it's just a lot of people in the audience we have to be able to hear each other on the court so we're not like running into each other or letting balls hit the ground so like communication is key so after about two minutes in that i'm watching i'm watching the match against purview a m 
and I see the first hit, and I see the setup for the second hit, and then all of a sudden I'm like, I'm getting excited. I was like, oh, here comes a slam. Here comes a slam. And I mean, you spike it unbelievable. It's incredible. Y'all can spike it from the back row. Yeah. And it's coming. And, and, and I'm like, I'm running away from that thing. That's unbelievable. Yeah, it's really exciting. It's really fun to uh, get those hits in. and. The adrenaline you get when you get a oh, kill yeah. is unbelievable. Yeah, I bet. And especially when, when obviously they can't, when you, an ace, where they can't return it. Well, yeah. that, that's pretty awesome. Yes, sir. What does it mean to, uh, what has a coach have done for you? Oh, my goodness. She's done a lot. Yeah. Especially from our freshman year. The whole team dynamic is extremely different. Every year she preaches a new, what's the word? Like uh, a motto, a, motto a new, every new phrase. Year. Yeah, that yeah. helps our team grow and get closer. And she's watching, she's like, <laughs> she's like coaching at every second. What did, what did I say? Yeah. yeah. There you go. It's cool really deal. just been amazing to have her as a coach and just have her help you grow as a person and a player. Like mm -hmm. on and off the court, she's, she's really like just supportive. She's always there for us. So it's like, I'm glad I chose Southern because yeah. right. she is my coach her and it's like, anything. it's the greatest thing. It really is. Wow. And I know she's so proud, you know, y'all just saying that. I know she's unbelievably <laughs> proud. And at first when you get there, I know when I first got on the campus and I saw my coach, I'm like, the guy's nuts and he's going to kill me yeah. at some point in time. <laughs> But then after that, when you when you graduate, it's like, oh yeah. my goodness, I'm gonna miss yeah. this. Yeah. Right. What has Southern education meant to you? Um. And what are you majoring in? First of all, let's say. I am an animal science major. Oh, cool. Yes, sir. All right, cool deal. Um, I just enjoy not only working with animals but also the environment. So it's just like it's a lot of hands-on activities we get to do within my major. Sometimes we go to the farm. Sometimes we're out in the fields collecting grass samples or working with forage crops. We're just able to get a lot of hands-on experience that I feel like other programs aren't allowing their students to get. Cool deal. So Tell everybody really cool. where you're from. I'm from Houston, Texas. Houston, Texas. Yes, sir. What made you decide to come to Baton Rouge and Southern University? Uh, Coach Jacobs. Really? Yes, sir. I, I really, the HBCUs in Houston are uh, PV and TSU and it's kind of like really close to home for me. So I was like, I kind of want to branch out a little right. further, you know, give a new opportunity, a new city, and Southern is home. Wow, cool yes, deal. Sir. What about you, where are you from? I'm from Chandler, Arizona. Okay, cool. Majoring in computer science. All right, and what has the education meant to you in Southern? It's meant a lot. My department is very hands-on and they really care about you and where, what happens to you after you graduate. They want you to get a job, they want you to be successful. So that's really great. You can see the program getting better and better and better year after year. So this being your senior year, what would it mean for you to win mm -hmm. the championship? This is our last go around, so it would mean everything. It's what you work for every year being mm -hmm. here. And that we haven't gotten one, it's, it's our last time to get one. So it would mean everything. What about you? Um, I think it's just really exciting to know that these years of hard work will all lead up to this moment. It's like either you have what it takes or you don't and it's like we've been working so hard and i believe that this year we will we will finish all right on november the third and the fourth you're going to take on the texas two-step mm -hmm. so will coach have to calm you down you think or will you know exactly what you have to do to win those matches it, exactly what we have to do because i'm always excited to play texas teams <laughs> just being from houston it's like okay yeah let's go let's and do it i'm really excited to play houston the houston schools so coach she already knows she already knows what's up even though you you know they did you know you picked southern university it's kind of like you want to show them what you uh, exactly exactly and so. family in the stands mm -hmm. how many you think uh, about six or seven. Okay, <laughs> but cool. But all SU gear, all SU gear. Right. Yes, you sir. being from Arizona, what's going to happen after you uh, graduate from Southern University? You going to stay in Baton Rouge? Or are you going to? Um, I'll probably go back home. I do love Southern and <laughs> the Baton Rouge culture, but there's nothing like home. Yeah. yeah. What about the food? The food here is great, but I love Mexican food. And oh, yeah? I have not found a Mexican place out here that right. compares to Arizona. You can, you can find anything else in the world. <laughs> you can. As long as we have ditches on the side of Louisiana, we will never go hungry. Yeah. But in Arizona, you say there's great Mexican food. Yes. Awesome deal. <laughs> awesome deal. Well, after you got Texas Southern Purview, you do take on Arkansas Pine Bluff Thursday, November the 7th, and then it's at Grambling. Now, have, being not from here, mm -hmm. have you gotten it yet about the Grambling oh. Southern rivalry? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. It's Grambling 
no, we do not mess with them. They yeah. they are the enemy for sure. Yeah. yeah. Yes, sir. People who haven't even attended either school pick a side, and it's just so interesting to right. see. Now, tell us what you love most about Southern University. I love the family feel of it. Everyone is family and they make you feel comfortable and welcome. Mm -hmm. Like Brianna said, um, as soon as I came here on my visit, I was like, this place really feels like home. Like, I was only four hours away, yet I felt like everyone here was like really welcoming. Everyone was like, they were just ready for me to like be a student here, to be a student athlete at this school, so. What was the one thing that you started out bad and now you feel you've done good at in the volleyball? Um, passing. Passing? <laughs> yes, sir. Okay. I'm still not that great, but it's gotten a lot You've better. You've gotten it better? Yes, sir. About you? I agree with that. Passing. When I passing. freshman year, I couldn't pass a lick. <laughs> and then coach was like, I need you to I need you to play some back row. So I had to step it up and get some extra right. reps in and the work in. Yes, right. sir. Awesome deal. Well, well, Y'all represented Southern University so well in Thank your you. senior year. Yes, sir. It's going to be tears shed at all? Oh, definitely, for sure. Yeah, there was tears last year, and it wasn't even my last year. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> so and then when do you expect to graduate? May twenty. May twenty. Same. Both of you. Yes, sir. Congratulations. Thank you. That is an awesome accomplishment, and even that, I could bet you that Coach Jacobs is more proud of you. Yeah. Walking down that aisle with that cap on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That cap and gown on than what you'll do on that volleyball court. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Definitely. So sure. congratulations. Thank Big you time. so much. All right. And, and tell everybody in the Houston, Texas area that uh, may be uh, watching this program uh, via the um, uh, internet, mm -hmm. what would you say to them if they think about coming to Southern University? Um, it is definitely the best, the best decision I ever made. All right, for sure. You? I'm from miles and miles away, and I take that <laughs> drive here often, so it's worth it. Cool deal. And, and what was the reason you came down here? Um, well, besides volleyball and coach, the computer science program, they really enticed me in here. So. Cool deal. Cool deal. Well, thank you both for being here, and we uh, definitely wish you the greatest luck in the uh, future. And uh, Shelby Jolly and Brianna Hawkins, seniors both at Southern University, give it up for them. That's pretty good. Pretty awesome. Thank you all. You did a great job. Thank you. Awesome job. All right, when we come back, we've got more athletes right here as we talk more sports. And we've got a very big sponsor for Southern University this year. Rocket Mortgage is going to be here. You see it, uh, their commercials everywhere. They're a proud sponsor of Southern University. We're going to talk to them coming up here in just a moment. And we're all here at Scoreboards Restaurant right here on Corsi Boulevard. Come on by and see us. It's the Overtime Show with Athletic Director Roman Banks. A closer look at Jaguar Athletics. I'm Chris Powers. Back in a moment on Pelican Sports TV. Family road trips just got a whole lot easier. The 2018 Nissan Rogue. Now with Nissan Intelligent Mobility, featuring technologies like available ProPilot Assist, which helps keep an eye on the road ahead and helps you stay centered while you're turning this lane into memory lane. Get to Nissan, proud supporter of college athletics. Care South offers a wide range of comprehensive medical, behavioral health, and dental services. On behalf of the staff and board of directors, we want to thank the Parish of Ascension, East Baton Rouge, and Iberville for allowing us to serve you. Come out to any of our locations where family is serving families. I can still remember Charlotte's first day of kindergarten like it was yesterday. Now, she's heading off to college. So how are you feeling? I'm nervous. I'm also really excited. You know you're the first McKernan to not go to LSU in decades. <laughs> Promise me this, you'll wear purple and gold at all the UT <laughs> football games. Dad. Letting go isn't easy, especially for this Louisiana dad, but our children know family is always there for them. Just like when our clients come to us for help, they'll always be part of the Get Gordon family. We want to be your lawyers for life. Call 888-8888. Preparing a meal, it's a lot like preparing for a game. It involves hard work, the right plan, and attention to detail. Great food, that's our passion. A taste of Louisiana, handcrafted from scratch. 
walk-ons. Because everyone needs a little playing time. Home, away, any game day. At Walk-Ons, we'll help you do game day right. What's the most important aspect of event hosting? Location. This is something that Bell knew from day one. That's why we're located in downtown Baton Rouge, across from the convention center, close to LSU, and right by the river. So with a friendly staff, award-winning cuisine, and a massive conference center of 10 rooms and 24,000 square feet capable of fitting more than 2,000 guests, what we offer is just as important as where we are. All right, welcome back, everybody. It's uh, Overtime Series with Athletic Director Roman Banks, a closer look at Jaguar Athletics. Right here from Scoreboards Restaurant on Corsi Boulevard. I'm going to get the, uh, I think I'm getting the uh, crabs tonight. Do you think that's a good choice? Yes. Yeah, yeah. You all, I think, you, yeah, you're on. You're, you're good. Uh, Shatea Griffin and Sydney Minor, cross country. So yep. how was how was uh, this year cross country? How did you feel? It was good. I felt really good. I finished off really good. And yeah, I did what I had to do. Tell everybody what you competed in. I competed in the 5K and I played second team and I came out sixth overall. So I made the all-conference team. And what about you, Shantan? Um, I did really good. Um, my season, it kind of didn't go as well as I wanted to, but it was a progress as the season went on. Um, Throughout the season, my time started decreasing, which is that's a plus in cross country. And um, by the championship, I was in the 19s, and I came out fifth overall, and I made first first team. Oh, cool! Congratulations! And tell us what you competed in. Hmm? What you competed in? What? Oh, cross country to 5K. 5K. All right, cool deal. <laughs> uh, and so, uh, what uh, what uh, see, what uh, grade are you in? Uh, I'm a sophomore. Sophomore, so you still got time to learn. Yes, sir. Yep. Tell everybody where you from. Oh, I'm from Karen Crow, Louisiana. Karen Crow, Louisiana. Yes, indeed. We're Cajun from the girl. Same area. Yes, sir. And yeah, you said that. Uh, well, yeah, that's why because you said you're getting cold. A little yeah. cold, huh? Anemic. <laughs> <laughs> Tell everybody where you from. I'm from Lafayette, Louisiana. We're actually 10 minutes away from each other. That's right. That's We've right. We've been knowing each other for. Right down the I-49, huh? Yep. yep. Big time. And I mm -hmm. told you last time I'm from Ville Platte, Louisiana. <laughs> It comes out every time. Do y'all have that Cajun accent ever come out or what? Um, I don't. To people in Arkansas. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. people in Arkansas, the Cajun comes out a little bit? Mm-hmm. All right. What's the big difference between cross country and, and, and now track and field as you're gearing up for track and field? Mm -hmm. Is it that much of a different training that you have to do? Yeah, um, and cross country is more of like a base for track. So it's like more mileage and endurance and building up your stamina and stuff. So especially like for like the races, like the mile, the 800 and up. So, and it's a big difference because like in cross country, you run in the woods and on the trails and track, you run in a big red track. All right, what about you? Um, yeah, basically more of what she said, like um, you're doing more endurance work and less less uh, shorter things, more longer things, and then you have to like train your muscles to go longer and not just like short, short speed work. So mm -hmm. basically you got to build a whole nother, using a whole nother muscle, actually. Wow. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't understand that. It's like... You know, it's it's like even playing any kind of sport, golf or what have you. You mm -hmm. don't realize how many muscles you use. Yeah. You think you can work out and all that stuff, and everything is great. Mm -hmm. But when it comes down to a certain sport, you're using a different muscle, and you better use that muscle correctly. Yeah. Exactly. Cause, yeah, because actually, when like when I switch over for track, like the first few weeks of track, I'd be really sore just from doing the practices, and I'd be like, "Why am I so sore?" And they told me because you're using a different type of muscle, like right. you're starting over, basically. When does training start? Training actually starts on Monday. So we Monday. actually had the rest of this week off after championships on this past Monday. And we start back on Monday. I'm excited because I'm do. ready. Yeah. And yeah. when is the first meet? January 10th at LSU. At LSU. I'm is thinking, that indoor yeah, or outdoor? Right. Indoor. All right. And, 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 now, indoor and outdoor, that, is that any kind of different breathing or at all? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Definitely. Especially because it it's going to be cold. Do you yeah. like running in the cold or in the, in the warm? Hmm. Not the cold. Yeah, because to me, the cold, I mean, especially for you, <laughs> but for me, the cold, it, you just can't breathe mm -hmm. as much. Yeah, it's a different type, like, different type of breathing. Like, 
the cold messes with your lungs and stuff, and then it's it's kind of harder to breathe when it's cold outside right. than when it's warm. Yeah, compared to it being yeah. warm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you like it warm? Yeah, I, for some reason I feel like I run better in the cold. Yeah. I don't know. Is I don't know. But also too, the humidity here in Louisiana is so mm -hmm. thick. Yeah. I always say that. Is it an advantage for teams from Louisiana from the South to up north? I mean, yeah. you know. It's true. Do you think? Mm-hmm. I think so too. I think so. Because yeah. I, as like I told Coach White all the time that they had a track and field tryouts for the Olympics here in New Orleans a few years ago, and that's the only time Dang. it's ever been here. Wow! It hadn't come back again. All right, but tell everybody what you're uh, what you're uh, majoring in. I'm majoring in nursing, and I'm a sophomore. All right, cool deal. So, and what yeah. is your education meant for you at Southern University? Uh, to be like. What you mean? <laughs> What, how is your education here at Southern has oh, helped you? Oh, like it helped me to be like a better person there and even on the track too. So. All right, cool. What about you? What's your um, majoring in? My major is um, social work and it has helped me to be more open and like nicer to people and yeah. notice that like in the long run that's going to help you to like learn how to talk to people more and you know be open and kind of like be like for them to be like you know comfortable with you i would right. say when did you decide you wanted to do that um i would say maybe my senior year because i was wow. actually looking for a major you know to i didn't really want to know what i i didn't know what i want to go to school for so i was just kind of like looking into like different fields and stuff like that and then i kind of find out i was like well this seems like something i would actually like to do so then i just you know. Did you become friends after you both got to Southern University, or was it before? We've been friends before. We wow. actually competed against each other in high school, so mm -hmm. we've been running against each other for the longest. Was there any trash talking during those times? Mm, Not no. between me and her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she kind of had to think about it, though. Oh! <laughs> she was actually thinking no, about team -wise. it. No, team-wise. Like, oh, our okay. team, yeah. But not specifically her. Yeah, not her. specifically at her, but like, oh, yeah, I'm going to okay. get her team. I'm kind of yeah, saying, yeah. oh, wait, wait, oh, no. we got to... Uh -huh. <laughs> Let's get it going here. <laughs> awesome deal. Well, what's the best thing you like about running uh, in the uh, track and field? Um, I like the fact that um, sometimes when I'm upset, I have a lot of things on my mind. I can release stress by going out sometimes doing like a long run or going out on a track and running like laps and stuff like that. And what like do you that. compete for in the, in the uh, track and field? Same um, thing? No, I ran the um, 400, the 800. Um, the 4x400 four four relay, and they're trying in the 400 hurdles this year. Okay, what about you? I run the 800, the 1500, and the DMR. All right, and tell us what Coach White has meant to you at Southern University as your coach. Uh, coach White actually has did an awesome job. He pushed us and worked us really hard to let us run really fast, and he know what he's doing. He's got a thicker Cajun accent than you three of us do, huh? <laughs> he really do. What about you? Um, Coach White, uh, he's done a lot for me. Um, I can say he actually, at times when I felt like I couldn't go anymore at practice, he told me, you can do it. Like, you know, we better than what we think we is. That's what he yeah. would always tell us every day. We'll be like, Coach, what's the workout? Like, you know, we, we want to know before we can psych ourselves out of it. And he'd be like, don't worry about what's the workout. You know, right. do what you need to do and help each other, put each other at practice. Like, he basically was like a motivation for us. Right. Right. Yeah. And to, for you to tell, look in that camera and tell other athletes who may think about coming to Southern University, why would they come to Southern University? Uh, there is... Well, you should come to Southern University Track and Field because our coaches are the best and they will push you to be the best athlete. All right, you. I feel Southern University is a good place to come and get your education and do sports because you, the environment is good. They have people that's positive mindsets that will push you, make you want to better yourself. The schooling is wonderful and I feel like it, it's a good place, you know, for everyone. Right. She's a talker, huh? <laughs> She can talk. Now, what are, yeah, she, so I like it. I like it. About it. Thank Jatea you. Griffith and uh, Sydney Minor, thank you all both for being on the program. Thank you. Thank awesome. you. Y'all did a great job. Thank you. All right, when we come back, we're talking Rocket Mortgage when we come back right here. They're joining us right here on the set as we continue with uh, the uh, Overtime Series with Athletic Director Robert Banks, a closer look at Jaguar Athletics. I'm Chris Powers. Back in a moment from Scoreboards Restaurant right here on Pelican Sports TV.
The birth of legends are storied in this conference. We must never forget our rich history. We now turn our gaze to the future. The new legends will emerge. New heroes to arise. The Southwestern Athletic Conference. Be our history. At Roadrunner Towing, we love our God, our children, our nation, and yes, our sports. So, let's play ball. big when you need to tow, either in East Baton Rouge or West Baton Rouge. Because at Rug Runner Towing, we don't want an arm and a leg, we, we just want, want your to toes. Go. Legendary Import Group, exceptional service and a rare collection, you'll discover the only distinctive auto for the legend in you. We, we are, are legendary. legendary. I am legendary. I'm team legendary. I am legendary. I am legendary. Now that's legendary. Stop by Legendary Import Group today where our team is honored to serve you. We are legendary. Legendary Import Group, the only place for legendary care. The smart Baton Rouge business traveler travels out of Baton Rouge. Why? It's about not having to wake up hours early, fight traffic, and stand in long lines. It's also about BTR being closer, more convenient with non-stops and short hops to anywhere your business takes you. Smart. So for your business, if it's about being one step ahead and not dead on your feet, then it's about time you flew BTR. Baton Rouge Metro Airport. It's about time. Imagine a day without music. You go downtown, you can find some music. You come uptown, you can find some music. Monday night, they got music. Every night of the week, there's music somewhere. Baton Rouge is a place where it's easy to make friends, it's easy to hear some music, and it's easy to come back. We got the music, we got the food, and we got good people. So with that combination, you can't lose. Right? Yeah, i come to lose and I All right, welcome back, everybody, right here. It's uh, Overtime Series with Athletic Director Roman Banks. A closer look at Jaguar Athletics is, of course, we look at Jaguar uh, Athletics and, and the great people that sponsor us. Rocket Mortgage is the official mortgage provider of Southern University. We've got DJ Bridges in the house. How you doing, my man? Good. How are you doing? And Denzel Washington in the house. <laughs> <laughs> almost, almost. How many, have they, how many people have told you that, Denzel? Twice a day. I probably get that twice a day. <laughs> Uh, his name is Denzel Palm. First of all, thank you so much for being a big sponsor of Southern University. And it's because, and I'm not just telling you this, it's because of the advertising that I'm going to be giving you guys a phone call because I'm moving from Ponchatoula here to Baton Rouge. That's awesome. And I didn't know who I was going to call, to be honest with you. Okay. Now I know who I'm calling. Perfect. That's great to hear. That's, that's great to it. hear. Yes, that's awesome. Why get so involved in, in, in college athletics? Because you guys are, are sponsoring a few teams around the nation. Yeah, we are. We sponsor a, a, a lot of different teams around the country. We know it's very important um, to be able to market um, and expose our company to a lot of different backgrounds and um, demographics across the country. It's really important to us to be able to combine what we do from a business standpoint as well with athletics. There's a lot of people out there um, that obviously would like help, just like you, with the, yeah. with the home loan. And so being able to do that is very, very important to us. 
What are some of the partners? What are the benefits for partnering with Southern University? Uh, the benefits for partnering with Southern are, is something that's just really good. That's something that we, as a as a company, want to continue to grow. We have a, a really large diversity and inclusion team, and so being able to um, come down here to Baton Rouge and be a part of something very very special, a school that is very very prestigious, has a really great tradition, is good for us because we're a company. We're located in Detroit, Michigan. We have that really good sense of community and here in Baton Rouge. I've only been here twice, but I know I can feel um, the love and community in the city, and so we want to be a part of something like that. Do you see it growing? In what direction do you see the, the, the sponsorship with Southern growing? Yeah, so we have a, our sponsorship for a couple years, and we look to grow. We want to continue to build our partnership, and we do that with um, every school um, that, we, that we are a part of. So being able to continue to build a relationship and grow that in the future is something we always look to do. Um, obviously, being here is, is a really good opportunity to continue to grow that partnership and sponsorship, um, but that's always what we look to do. Perfect. Tell us what you do, Denzel. I'm a university relationship manager. Um, so that just basically means I work with a number of universities, a number of partners across the nation, just ensuring we recruit some of the top talent to come to an internship or a full-time opportunity with Rocket Mortgage. And why Southern University? Why, why was Southern University picked? Top talent. I mean, we've heard a lot of great things about a lot of students down here. Um, it's really important that we get come down here, place that opportunity in front of them, let them know that they're able to do an internship, summer internship, or full-time opportunity with the organization, just so they can continue to better their skill set. And, and I'm, I'm sure that you're seeing the reaction from the student who's like, oh my goodness, this could be a career I want to go in. 100%. That was kind of how... Um, I was introduced to the company. I didn't know too much about it as a student. I started off as an intern with the organization. When I was first introduced to the organization, I was just mind blown. So much opportunity, so many different roles that you can be a part of. I mean, it's a really good opportunity, and we're just glad to share it with the students. No question about that. It's so important to get that right mortgage company. There's no question about that. That's a scary part. That's almost the scariest part of the deal. Why would somebody pick Rocket Mortgage? Yeah, so we are the number one lender in America, and something that we pride ourselves oh, wow. on is the efficiency that we are able to process a loan. So whether you want to purchase a home or refinance a home, we're the number one place to do that. And something that we um, hold close to our heart is our customer service. Um, being able to, to reach the goals of our clients is something that's really, really big. Um, so being able to make sure that we're listening, um, hearing the client, making sure that we're accomplishing their goals is something that's big to us. We won multiple J.D. Power uh, awards for customer satisfaction as well as servicing um, for our, our mortgage business. And so that's something that um, we put out in the forefront when we market in and we talk to our clients uh, about that because we know that we have their back and we want to make sure that they're in the best spot possible. Do you have offices here in locally, or do you call a 1-800 number? So we have we are an online mortgage lender. So our headquarters is in Detroit, Michigan. That's where we do um, the majority of our business. And we do have a couple other offices, one in Cleveland, Ohio, as well as Phoenix, Arizona. Um, but the majority of our business is done from those three locations. Um, and we're able to service a loan, provide a loan in any uh, state across the country. No question. That's awesome. That's an awesome deal. And what are you, are you getting, is this a field for students to be able to get into? I mean, as far as, do you see it growing even more and more? Yeah, 100%. So with the organization, we primarily hire a lot of technology opportunities, a lot of sales opportunities. A lot of students are extremely interested. I mean, we just had a student up here that was a computer science major. So she could easily apply, go on our website, myrocketcareer.com, and look for a lot of computer science related opportunities as well as sales opportunities. When do they start? What, what grade? I already start. Oh, as far as grade? Mm -hmm. Well, we don't really focus on the grade. It really doesn't matter your major, your GP, or what your grade is, as long as you can handle the requirements and responsibilities of the role you're a good match for it oh cool deal cool deal and so you know and that's exciting because i can tell you you know when i went to college when jesus and i went to college <laughs> back in the day it was always scared you know i wanted to get into broadcasting but broadcasting mm -hmm. sometimes can be you know very limited correct so you always want to look and back when i went to college there was no minor there was mm -hmm. no minors talked about it was a major and that's it so now you get an opportunity of this could be your major, and, and then you could do something like a minor with this or vice versa. Correct. Correct. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think that's, that's something that's great. Yeah, that's an awesome deal. Now, where are you based out of? So I am located in Detroit, Michigan. Both of us are. Um, it's a really cool um, place to be. Being able to, to have our headquarters there, um, we're rooted in the urban community um, right there in downtown Detroit, which is really, really awesome. We give back um, to our community a lot. We're a company that's for more than profit. Um, so what that means is that you know we're not only about profit. We want to be able to give back in the community. That's something that's near and dear to our heart. Every single year, um, we give back over 150,000 hours uh, in the community. Um, and not only in Detroit, in all the cities that we're located, in. So the urban core is something that is very crucial to us in Cleveland, Ohio, as well as Phoenix, Arizona. Well, Denzel, I can imagine, you know, good looking guy like you, nice <laughs> hairstyle and stuff like that. You doing the TV part and doing the commercials, 
And this guy, correct me if I'm wrong, the singing part. He's got a baritone yes. voice. <laughs> yes, he that? does. There we go. Uh, Somebody I mean, identified I'm, I'm ready for him to start doing this jingle <laughs> right any moment now. No, maybe, ne maybe next show. Maybe next show. Not this one. Not it's kind of like me. Everybody says I've got a great voice. Uh, well, how do you how do you do it with the singing? You don't want to hear it. There you go. In the shower, it's like my dogs are barking and yelling. <laughs> I don't know. You I'm don't curious. Hear it. <laughs> I'm a little curious. So how can uh, how can students uh, you know get more information about? Getting a being a part of Rocket Market. Yeah, one hundred percent. So myrocketcareer.com is where you're going to find all our full time opportunities, a lot of our um, summer internship opportunities. Um, we're actually going to be in the area. Um, we go to the Southern Career Fair, if I'm correct, um, and then they'll be able to come up to our booth, speak to us. We can give them all types of information on location, opportunities, what to expect, and what we're all about. Cool deal. Now, when y'all got off the plane today, was it like? This weather isn't so bad here. No, it was great. It was great. So in Michigan right now, it's probably between 40 and 50. So when we yeah. hopped off the plane, yeah. we were able to take our sweaters off. <laughs> uh, it's really good down here. You can't, you can't beat this weather. Right, but feels good. During the summer, it gets hot and humid here now. Oh, I bet it does. I bet yeah. it gets hot, hot and humid in Michigan as well. Yeah. Um, but obviously, there, there's a win on both sides. Being able to be here during this month, you can't beat it. Because Michigan is starting to get a little cold. Right. Starting to get a little cold. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. Well, DJ, thank you so much for being a part of Southern University. Denzel, thank you all so much for sponsoring us because it's programs not only sponsoring athletics, but also giving an opportunity for, uh, uh, you know, for students to be able to come in. And, and, and get a new feel. For sure. Because, like I said, when, when they get there, you know, when they look at how much they owe on student loans and what have you, they got to get paid quick. Yep. And it's an opportunity for them to do that. Yes, sir. Thank you both for being here. Thank you Thanks for, having, for having, us. having us. All right. Again, Rocket Mortgage, the official mortgage provider of Southern University, someone I'm going to use personally here in a couple of months. When we come back, we'll bring Coach uh, Roman Banks back and we'll ask him some questions. And our next seven's all coming up right here. It's right here at the Overtime Series with Athletic Director Roman Banks, a closer look at Jaguar Athletics. Back in a moment from School Board's Restaurant, Pelican Sports TV. Perfect. Thank you. Need to see a doctor fast? Lake Express Check-In lets you get in line, online. Visit OLOLRMC.com slash express to choose an estimated treatment time at one of our emergency room, urgent care, or physician office locations. A service of Our Lady of the Lake. Legendary Import Group. Distinguished service and detailed attention. You'll discover the only distinctive auto for the legend in you. Stop by 10660 Corsi Boulevard or phone 225-960-1191. It's game day. A day that should be spent in the living room, not the kitchen. So next game, you just worry about the score. Because we've got the food covered. With hand battered, cooked to order, always fresh, never ever frozen chicken fingers. Craveable cane sauce, crispy crinkle cut fries, and jugs of freshly made tea and lemonade. Raisin Cane's chicken fingers, one love. Official chicken of Southern University. Woo! <laughs> play the Louisiana Lottery, you may not see where your dollar goes, to the potential it nurtures, to the future it fuels. But with every dollar you spend, you're supporting K-12 public education. Even if you don't see the change you're making, our students do. Thank you for giving us a reason to smile. We're a nation of hardworking Americans, and businesses will always be the lifeline of this great country. As a business owner, you understand the importance of your reputation. In times of uncertainty, you need a real lawyer who's serious about protecting you and your business. You need a problem solver. You need the law firm of Clayton & Fouget. Tony Clayton is a proven trial lawyer. 
He'll defend you and your business to the fullest extent of the law. Protect your investment and call the law firm of Clayton and Fouché today. Wranglers, we'd rather sell them than move them. It's Salisbury's Move and Sale and Jeep Adventure Days. $3,500 off all Jeep Wrangler Unlimited Sport S models. $3,500 off. Get them now at Salisbury's Chrysler. Dodge Jeep. and Ram in Baton Rouge. Nice, smart. What's the most important aspect of event hosting? Location. This is something the Bell knew from day one. That's why we're located in downtown Baton Rouge, across from the convention center, close to LSU, and right by the river. So with a friendly staff, award-winning cuisine, and a massive conference center of 10 rooms and 24,000 square feet capable of fitting more than 2,000 guests, what we offer is just as important as where we are. All right, welcome back, everybody, right here to uh, School Board's Restaurant. It's, of course, Overtime Series with that Thug Director, Roman Banks. We got a celebrity in the house. Adrian Sanders is in the house, former basketball player. You never wanted big to post time. up we against call her. Time. A person never, she never seen a bad shot. We call no. it COVID. No, <laughs> no. And not only that, now she's an assistant coach, recruiting coordinator for the uh, Lady Jacks. Doing very well, doing very well. Bright career ahead of herself. That's right. Yeah. I had fun calling her games all the time. Yeah. Yep. So every time you say you're shoot it. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. Speaking of that, we have to find out what's happening with Southern Athletics. It's our next seven right now. Here we go. This week in Jaguar Athletics, the football team will head to Lorman, Mississippi to take on the Alcorn State University Braves Saturday, October 26th at 2 p.m. The volleyball team will travel to Jackson, Mississippi for the SWAC Eastern Roundup Friday, October 25th. They'll face Mississippi Valley State at 3 p.m. and Alcorn State at 7 p.m. Saturday, October 26th, they'll take on Alabama State at 12.30 and Alabama a and at 5 p.m. To wrap up the weekend, Sunday, October 27th, they'll face Jackson State at 3 p.m. Soccer will host their last two home games of the season starting on Friday, October 25th to take on Mississippi Valley at 6 p.m. Friday night's game will be senior night. Then on Sunday, October 27th, they'll face Alcorn State at 1 p.m. This will serve as their pink game for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And that's our next seven right here from Southern University. And for more information, go to GoJagSports.com. That's GoJagSports.com. Yes, indeed. And speaking of that, uh, you know, we got uh, basketball coach in the house, Coach Hillman, coach assistant coach in the house. Yes, and uh, he Make is sure. in the house, always having a lot of fun. And he probably had to drag Sean off the floor. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt. Now it's time to ask the athletic director a question. I almost fumbled this. I caught it. I, I, I did the bag. catch it. Tiana saw that. Tiana, <laughs> you've got a guest right here to ask our next question. I do. I have Mr. Larry here, which happens to be Coach Banks's uncle, I hear. And he's going to ask the AD a question. Coach Banks, I want to know how will SU win in this Saturday and locking the SWAC championship game been held in Mumford Stadium benefit LSU Athletics. SU Athletics. All right. So, uh, and it got quiet all of a everybody, sudden. Everybody trying to hear him out. Everybody huh? wants to hear the answer of this. So, you know, obviously it's a loaded question, but obviously if we beat Alcorn this weekend, then that, that symbolizes, so that's probably put us on par to be the best in the league. Yeah. All right, and so therefore we get a chance to, to come home in front of our fans and possibly have a chance uh, to go on to the Celebration Bowl if we win that game. So uh, what happens is that, that revenue generated game, and we're thankful to the SWAC office that the home team get to keep the revenue. So you have to pay for travel for Alcorn and uh, or the visiting team, shall I say, and we get a chance to keep the revenue. And so what that does for athletics is basically give us a payday uh, that I would roughly say, looking at all corn books, uh, a half a million dollars or above. And so uh, I'm sure that if being Pew, our, our finance guy listening right now, he's excited about it. Y'all get that home game. Yeah. But no question, that'll give us a chance to do some things for our athletic department that, that needs to be taken care of. And so we're excited about the opportunity. So we are very hopeful and proudful that we can go to Alcorn and take care of business. Yeah, no question about that. And not only that, 
that could be even a bigger payday, uh, of course, because uh, Spinks Chasm Stadium holds 22,500. We owe 28,500 plus. So that could be a few more fans in there. And I know you will find a way to put even more fans in there. Yeah, and so let's make sure that we get it. That game is a partnership with the SWAC office. So as it relates to, you know, we have to do some things that we have to work our way through it. I don't want to talk about it right now <laughs> because we concentrating on this one game. But like, there, that is not, if you're a season ticket holder, that don't guarantee you that same seat because that's a championship game for the SWAC office. So we'll be getting some, we'll be talking about that in the future. Let's take care of business first. Yes, indeed. And uh, the game this Saturday at 2 p.m. Uh, from Lorman, Mississippi. That's the big game. It's, it's a huge game. And coach, I was breaking it down, for the stats and what have you, it's dead even. If a team can pass on the other team, they could win. If Southern's offense can get going, Bubba McDaniel, or whether it's uh, Ladarius Skelton, if they can start passing on the, you know, Alcorn State, we have a chance to win. Prairie View and Alcorn State put up 900 yards, both of them, 900 together. So I know that we could be able to pass on Alcorn State and win that. And I think Coach Odoms has got it right now. He wants to beat the Braves. Oh, no question about it. And so we're excited about the opportunity. And I know that they're working hard. Like I say, I have all the confidence in, in Coach O and his coaching staff. And I know that he'll have us prepared. So it's going to be a fight. It's going to be a real war down there uh, when we get down there at Alcorn. And, of course, uh, the fight right now, we're looking at this delicious bread pudding that we've got right the overtime series bread pudding right so i i told them so you and i won't have any differences and i'm trying to help you out because i know you look slim and trim you lose your diet i said don't put that pressure on the guy just bring one out for me and so they did exactly that so chris this is for me and they're keeping everything else in the back because we're you trying to help you out. You see that? <laughs> That's why this guy was a successful coach. I can promise you that. Well, we hope you enjoyed again the show. And come on out uh, to, uh, uh, again, Lorber, Mississippi, to cheer on the Jaguars and hopefully have it big. I want to thank Rocket Mortgage for helping us out here today and uh, doing this. And we've got, we've got a birthday. Oh. Coach Banks' birthday is today. You got all these in the day. I got all these. I thought I got out of Scott Free. Yes, indeed. Yeah. Happy birthday, Coach Banks. I certainly appreciate it. Now, we're going to say goodbye as we give him the whipping right here on stage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to all spank him. Have a good one. See you next week. Go Jags!